Hi, I'm Valentina. I'm a healer living and working on the central coast of New South Wales, which is about one hour north of Sydney. My business name is Balance Begins With Me. In the coming months, I will be posting several interviews with locals, local healers, local people who contribute in a positive way to the community. You might want to participate in that. If so, please let me know. The easiest way to get in touch is through my Facebook page or website. Both are under the name Balance Begins With Me. Coming up shortly is my first interview. It runs for about 12 minutes. It's quite fun, but there's definitely depth in there also. I was ably assisted by my flatmate Rachel and a good friend Catherine. So please enjoy the video. Feel free to get in touch. Keep in mind, it's just a first go. If it inspires you, let me know. So tell us about this relationship between you two. How did you meet and, and, and what is it? Why did you want to sit Rachel down today and, and talk to her? Well, I used to run a healing centre called the Aloha Gallery, Centre for Healing and Wellbeing. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm really not dressed for this. <laughs> <laughs> What should you be wearing, Rachel? <laughs> I feel like I should be wearing... I feel a bit jealous of what you're wearing. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <what? laughs> oh, so let's okay. go back to Hello, huh? <laughs> um, so uh, I had a wonderful massage therapist who had become a friend called Thais, the Brazilian-Australian woman. And she said, I've got a friend called Rachel who is a great massage therapist and wants some work. This mm -hmm. goddess walks through. Oh, I know it's like that, isn't it? When yeah. you first see her, yeah, it's... she's just like a flowing little <laughs> goddess that bounces when she walks. Very gentle <laughs> voice. Yeah. So I was very surprised when she gave me a massage because she's so strong. Yeah. Both physically with her hands and a powerful healer, and very clean and clear energy, and very personable and nice and. I think the only thing I said to her after realising she was a good massage therapist was that uh, I can always stay in the room because we had a large healing room behind the screens if you want because she was so beautiful I was a bit worried about some of the men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, and the massage may have been Too interpreted into a happy massage. Happy time. <laughs> never necessary because Rachel's a Newcastle girl and yes. you don't want to cross a Newcastle no, girl. You don't. <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> I've heard other things about Newcastle girls and Fanny's nightclub. <laughs> Not called Fanny's nightclub for no reason. Now we can have it from Rachel's perspective. What did you think when you walked in? Well, I walked in and I still remember what you were wearing. You had this big fluffy white jumper on. <laughs> I thought the same thing. Like oh, you were just no, 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 you were just like warm and cuddly and just this gentle, sweet voice. I remember I rang and I got your voice message before I spoke oh, okay. to you. You know, like, hello, this is Valentina. She had a fun and, voice on. Yeah, but it was lovely. It was nice and soothing, and I was like, oh, I like the sound of her already. And I went in there and met her, and yeah, you just felt really clear and mm. kind of like. Floaty, like a different. There's the floaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm floaty. It's like you, you just walked into yeah. this like little floating, peaceful, energy field. Yeah. Yeah, you got a really strong energy and a floating, about peaceful you. energy field. A floating peaceful energy field. Yeah. I reckon. And then that's um, you. Then. And you thought there you go. Be that's your three. Protection in a massage. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's your three adject adjectives. Floating, peaceful, energy field. Floating, peaceful, energy field. There you go. Yeah. And um, anyway... I really want to write it down. Yeah. Down well, it's on camera now. You don't need to write it down. It's all recorded. It's, it's no turning back. I've got to sleep to that. <laughs> I'd like to hear about you first. Yeah, yeah. I remember Rachel when she, she came back and said, I met this lady Valentina, she's like another mum to me, you've got oh, to meet her. And then you're on some diet and so was I and we were both talking about our diets. Oh yes. <laughs> Giving up yeah. on that one. That's and then, right. Yeah, you were hardcore. I think you were eating protein for about Oh I was, weeks. yeah, I was wasn't so constipated. It was me, wasn't it? Or were you doing that? No, I was doing... Was, she um, was doing a really hardcore yeah. one. Yeah, I think that was And the drops. almost no food. Yeah. Yeah. The drops, probably. The drops. Yes. Drops. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
CD <laughs> drops. <laughs> Hormonal drops. Whether well, <laughs> competition about diets. Oh no, no. I'm on polyfat. I'm on bananas. That's true. I'm on drugs. Um, so so he said, hey, yes. We're gonna do a swap. So I did Valentina's massage and I told you about my first experience with Reiki, didn't I? Uh, and then the sweaty old man in a safety bay. <laughs> <laughs> a sweaty old man where? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I told you just to know Kathy. No. He came to my house. No, which house? <laughs> this is when this I was at this for Reiki and it was $30. And I thought, I'm going to try it. Oh. So I rang the number and no, I think I sent a text message. Or something. Uh. Anyway, I was waiting in this. Maybe <laughs> this... <laughs> man shit. Oh no. I'm here for the Reiki. <laughs> <laughs> He's here for the Reiki or to do your to Reiki. Do Reiki. Do oh. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I let him in. He's like, why do you want to do it? <laughs> oh. Anyway, we didn't have anything in the lounge room. No. And only a mattress in the bedroom. <gasps> so I said, I'll just lie on the lounge room floor then. Because you'd think you'd bring a table. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. something. So I lied down and he kneeled down over me. Was he good? I bet he was amazing. <laughs> no, I didn't feel anything. Oh, really? And he sweated on me. Oh! Sweat drops? So I could feel sweat drops. It oh! Just... That'll, that'll be. We could sell that. That could be the next diet. Sweat drops. <laughs> <laughs> and he heavy breathed. All over me and sweated on me and. Oh. Did you get like a creepy energy or just? No, uh, no creepy no. at all. It was um, lovely, but he just <laughs> didn't know what he was. I think he'd walk like five k's to get there. Oh okay. So then um, Chris, thirty bucks. Oh, oh, so I know this is sort of me. So I was like, it was great. It's <laughs> really good. I got a lot from that, and he said he saw white light around me, oh. and then he left. So <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> what's this Reiki crap? I'm not. Are we going to tell anyone about that? <laughs> that will cut it off. Yeah. Film. <laughs> then we met Valentina, and Valentina said, Have you had Reiki before? And I think, Oh, you know, didn't really think much of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, so I didn't, and she said to me, Is there anything you need to work on? And I said, um, Not that I can think of. I'm so like, much. Oh, You're I'm such a liar. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. I just didn't. <laughs> What did I say? Poor Valentina know. didn't know what she let herself in for. <laughs> and then Valentina <laughs> said, the Reiki will go to where it needs to go. So okay. I said, okay. okay. I'm all I felt like a little night. nurtured baby, Aww. like a little child been put the into womb. bed. And, yeah, Aww. just comfy and just had a little eye pillow and I could actually feel yeah. the energy. Yeah, it's really strong, and hey. I've never... You know, people talk about it. Like mm. I, I could really feel her hands. Yeah, yeah. Going up and down my body, and she had her meditation on the one that where she's talking, and yeah, I, I was kind of in and out of consciousness, and yeah. Um, at the end, I stood up and I just felt like really lightheaded and just relaxed and really kind of yeah, zen. And anyway. Went back when I was living with some friends, and it was meant to be a big party night, and we were gonna drink. I remember you were exhausted, weren't yeah, you? For we're days. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I literally cried. I did. I cried. Mm. But, no, no, I went to have a drink, and I could not drink the mm. alcohol. Oh. I, like you know, it's, it's so nice. I can go home and remember I was, like, I was drinking every day. Yeah. And, yeah, and I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, well, Valentina no, and all the healing she did on you really helped you to mm. to make move through that yeah, yeah, yeah. and find the strength to make that decision and clear Yeah, you. but um, yeah, that was the first experience that I had with that and I couldn't drink, I couldn't eat crap food, I couldn't, I slept for 12 hours, I went to sleep at like 6. I remember. And then I woke up at like 9 and I never ever do that, like I never ever sleep that long. And then literally I just wanted to take care of myself mm. and I went back and Valentina said, how did you go? And I said so weird like, like <laughs> and and she said I told you that you know the Reiki will go where it needs to go and it just yeah that's what I kind of needed to step back and mm. take care of myself and obviously yeah when I was pregnant and I think she helped me a lot there when I was feeling anxious and 
you know, really got me ready for the birth and nurtured you. Nurtured me, yeah. yeah. He nurtured yeah. me a lot and yeah, so it's That's it's what been I like great. doing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it's yeah, I've never really um believed it till I felt it. Yeah. Like that. Well, Rachel's yeah. massaging me. Rachel does have Reiki. She hasn't finished her course with me yet, but um she's a natural healer. Yeah. And things come up that I didn't even know need healing. Yeah. Um different parts of my life and sometimes it's in sync with what she's thinking about and sometimes it's just what I need. One time she gave me a, a massage and afterwards mm. I said, oh, I feel like a baby that is so loved. And she said, I was thinking about Hendrix, her child, <laughs> while I was massaging you. She was thinking about and feeling how much she loves him more than anything in the world. 